Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. And here we are again with another big box. Now this is kind of a different box than I usually get. This one I think is from Georgia. It's been here for months, so I have no idea what's in it. I really don't. We're gonna have to find out. So here we go. Hope you're all having a great weekend. I am going to be pre-recording these videos, and I'll explain all that in a minute. But let's see what we've got here. My rickety old box cutter. Okay. All right, invoice. Oh, good, it's upside down, so I don't have to hide my address as if I do anything, right? Okay. Maybe I can see how much I paid for this. Um... This is a cheaper one. I think I just caught it on sort of a fluke kind of thing. I think it was listed as jewelry, but it didn't say how many pounds. So it ended up being pretty cool because it was a whole bunch of pounds of jewelry and I wasn't expecting it to be that big. So, wow. Okay. It looks like beads and I mean, this has been here for months, so I'm excited to see what's in it. It's not taped, but we've got bracelets, other beads. Are those cold? Kind of cold. Ooh, a feather thing. Oh, I think this is all one bag. It is. It's one big bag, so I'm going to have to put my phone down and pick this bag out of this box. But I wanted to show you my system because some of you wanted to see. This is that big boom arm that I use right here. It's actually a monitor holder and you screw the phone holder on it right here. Now I'm telling you my troubles, okay? This is, I keep saying my phone holder's broken. So right here where this screw goes in, you screw it around this way and it stops at a certain point and you can't turn it anymore. So if anyone knows what I can do about this, this screw right here, am I doing this wrong? because I need to be able to, see how I have it taped here? I have it taped so it won't spin anymore. I, I don't know. If you know anything I can do with that, let me know. This is the situation here. My son bought me a new phone holder, but I don't know how to where to put it on. And what else? There's Miss Prissy waiting to do her job. My metal testing kit in the crazy scrambled egg maker. Simichrome. And my craft jar little area, some loops, and my TV all covered up so you don't have to see my TV screen. Okay, I'm going to put the phone in the holder and lift this bag out and we'll get started. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's very, very heavy. Maybe I should check it. Wow. So sometimes they put the jewelry in several different bags. This is one big old bag. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna dump it out. Wow. Wow, that's a biggie biggie. Okay. Whew. Oh my. This is a biggie biggie. Now, when I can get my phone holder fixed, I can go further away from the jewelry. So you can see, you know, much further back that way. But right now, that's why I'm stuck right here until I can figure out that situation. Oh my, like, wow. All right, I'll just push it back and start pulling some out. Oh, okay, let me start by saying today is June 11, 2023. And I'm going to be pre-recording probably two or three videos today, hopefully, because I'm going to have a busy week this week. So this is what I'm saying. You're going to see the videos. I'll post them throughout the week. I do want you to still email me like you normally do. Just don't worry if I don't get back to you for a day or two, because I have to get some things done this week and... I don't want to not send you videos, so I'm posting the videos, but I might not be able to email right back, okay? 
Now, with that in mind, let's do our commercial. If you'd like to buy any of the jewelry that you see, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Please send me the full video name with the episode number, the time stamps when your pieces show. And again, like I explained to some of you that are new, you can hit your pause button and you'll see the time stamp on the screen. Also a brief description of the jewelry and the prices that were given. Okay, I hope that helps you and thank you very, very much. And by the way, did I say, I'm so glad you're here, because I am. This sign is getting a little bit beat up, but I, I don't have the heart to get rid of it. It has a lot of sentimental value to me. I hope it does to you. I might even like put a lamination over it or something. We'll see. But anyway, please subscribe and like the video and hit the bell to be notified when I post another video. How was that? Okay, first out of the gate is a very cold stone necklace with gold tones, pretty. And it has, I wanna say that's a Ralph Lauren. We're gonna have some competition with the camera. All right, let me see in the loop. There it goes, okay. Yes, it's a Ralph Lauren. Well, I haven't seen a Ralph Lauren piece. I think in any of the boxes I've done. It's very pretty. Pink, I wanna say fuchsia, but it's not. It's more of a, it's a deep rose pink. That's what it is. Deep rose and a mauve. And these gold little pieces as well. That is so pretty. This is how they cap off the beads here. And then they have these gold tone. They're not square, they're like, Oh gosh, maybe 10 sided or something. Lobster clasp and a very, very nice signature um, hang tag. That's what I'm trying to say, hang tag. It's kind of a choker style. Yeah, it is so pretty. All right, I better heat up Miss Prissy and see what she says about what this is. And figure out what I'm going to do about all this because I don't even know if I can get it out of the picture. Wowzy, wowzy. Ooh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? All right, come over here, girl. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is a Presidium Gem Tester, number two. And it tests the hardness of a stone. And it's just one of the tools we use or that can be used to test what a stone is. It's very helpful. And that's why I call her Miss Prissy because it's Presidium. And I just think it's fun to give her a name. So I'm gonna test these stones with the tip of this pen. It's a really tiny tip on it. Come on, phone. Anyway, you've seen that before, okay. And we'll see what it says. I'm, I'm going to say they're probably glass. <gasps> they're not glass. Oh my goodness. It's going up into... Um, hmm. Amethyst citrine in the quartz area. Wow, I'm so surprised. Now that's glass. So the middle... Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry it was out of focus. Okay, let me start over. Now this deeper red is testing. Oh, now it's not going because it's slipping. I'm trying to be faster, guys, but it's not easy. All right, in the quartz amethyst area on the deep rose color, the more clear pink color is in the glass range and the mauve color is also up in a stone range. It's more in the emerald nephrite area. Now, are there any that I haven't tested? We have opaque, more clear. Okay, I think we have an idea that it's a genuine stone necklace. Oh, there's another stone here. A little pink stone. And that, oh, it's so tiny. I think we know that this is a genuine stone necklace. And we know that it's beautiful. Ralph Lauren. I don't know what to price it. 
So let me measure it. And this will be one of those that I will research. And I will try to tag something at the end of the video. But if I don't, it's 14 inches with a two inch extender. If I don't price it in this video and you like it, send me an email. And in the meantime, I'll try to research this and we'll come up with something together, okay? All right, so that's piece number one. Well, Loren, I'm so excited. I have not got a piece from there. Oh boy, I might have to do an untangle video because you are not going to believe what I just saw. A big matted. Wow, okay, what is this? Very shimmery, very shimmery seed bead necklace with the longer seed beads. So these are orange with like an AB almost, or trans, not translucent. Um, you know what I'm saying. Silver tone. This is more of a peachy color. And this is a pretty darker pink. Okay, I see a little issue here. Let's go in close so we know what we're dealing with. Maybe that's where they tied the beads together. Yes, it is. It's one of the places they, maybe someone repaired it and then they melted the ends. So just be aware of that. Looks like there's a piece here too. So we've got that. We've got all those same color beads repeating themselves again. I have to get a camera, you guys. I really do. The phone is struggling. And it's causing me to struggle a lot too. So sorry I keep complaining about it. Well, this is a beautiful, colorful necklace. I do see a little bead sort of sticking out here. I don't know what that means. But it does seem a bit older. It's on a gold tone lobster clasp with a long extender Rolo, Rolo chain. And I love it when they cap off a necklace that way. I think it makes it more comfortable. Okay, let's give it a measure. Wow, I am so out of room here. That big bag. Woohoo! I wish I weighed it before I started because that is so heavy. It is 20 inches. It has a nice long extender of 3 inches. And I don't know, it has a little bit of issue with those, um, you know, melty parts, but beautiful beads. Let's say $5 on that. Okay, what else can we get out of here? Now, this is one, I'm not even sure I looked at the pictures on this. It was uh, several months ago when I did a couple of impulse buys, and then I never did those impulse buys again because if you look back at some of my videos, there's a couple of them that I wasn't happy with the jewelry. So I stopped doing impulse buying and spent a lot more time looking at the pictures. But this is one that I did on impulse, so we'll see what happens. Maybe it went better this time, let's hope. Okay, tangly tangle. Now, if you wanna fast forward past the tangles, I'm not giving you permission to, of course you do that, but if you'd like to know how, because I didn't know how at first, you can double tap on your screen and it jumps ahead 15 second intervals. So I hope that helps. Because I know it's not easy sometimes to wait for the jewelry and wait for the untangles, but I'm trying my best. This one does not seem to open so I can't just undo it. I have to undo everything around it. Okay. All right, what is this? It's a big wooden beaded necklace, black painted wooden beads. It's very nice. I'm not a big fan of wooden jewelry, but I like this. That's really cool. I'm not sure if I should put it in like a large necklace bag at the end. Hmm. All right, let me say $3 on this. And if we have a lot of big necklaces, maybe we'll lock them up at the end. Okay, what have we here? 
Let me move my phone. That might help with the focus. Wow, it's a pretty bracelet. It's not really opening. I don't think it opens. It's not that quality, not really huge quality, but it's pretty. Certainly wearable. Could you fit it around? Yes, I suppose you could. So why don't we say $3 on this? Just not seeing a ton of quality, but it's pretty. It's two, a little bit over two and a half. And I'm just remembering my bracelet measurer. Woohoo! Still getting used to this. Oh, seven and three quarters on this bracelet. So that's that piece. Excuse the arm. I remember a piece like this in one of our other boxes. I suppose they're not extremely rare, but it's very, very, very glittery. Um, very dark blue on a gunmetal. And they have it clasped way up here. Hmm. I'm gonna clasp it way at the end so that it doesn't keep tangling on me. So yeah, that's very sparkly blue gunmetal necklace. And I'm gonna say $3 on this too. And it is glass. Pretty piece. Ooh, hoping this is sterling. Maybe not, it has a little tag on it that might be like um, Premier Designs or something. Let's have a peek. A little tag here. Oh, wow, that was a good call, Sherry. It is Premier Designs. Now let me make sure so I don't act like I know something. So Premier Designs has a letter P and a D underneath and sort of like a crown kind of a thing. And they make, I don't know if they still make jewelry, but they make really good quality pieces. So this is a bead ball necklace. I would assume probably sterling plated. Not sure, but it does have a sterling look for sure. It is 22 inches. And on that cute bead ball, we'll say five. Five dollars on that. Wow, there's so many different pieces in here. Looks like we have a very interesting statement now. <gasps> Look at all of this. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I'm not seeing any J. Crew hang tag. Because I would have thought J. Crew. Oh my gosh. Alright, I can't believe how many rhinestones are in this piece. This is unbelievable. Could it be a J. Crew without the hang tag? I'm gonna have to do a Google search. Look at this. Tons and tons. All these tiny ones around here in behind there. It's all layered. Look at that blue one too. Then there's all of these. This might have come apart right here. We'll have to see. Maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to move like that. Then we have a little bit lighter blue. <gasps> this is so pretty. Just hunks and hunks of rhinestones. Okay, let me just put it on the neck because I can't think of any other way to show it to you all at once. Wow. Oh my. This is amazing. And there, oh, that's like um, watermelon... It's green and pink rhinestone back there. Wow, I, I don't know what to say. It's just absolutely beautiful. Certainly don't know what to put a price on this for, so I'm not even gonna try. Let me see if they're prong set. They're not prong set. But it certainly is cool. Okay, that's that one. As you maybe can tell from my tools, I went away for a minute because I wanted to connect one of the connectors on the back here. So there's two rings on each one of these, but there is one missing here. So I'm gonna have to see if it's in the bag. 
I connected one back together because the ring was still there. And there's one not connected. The ring is not there right here. And I'll have to see it's in the bag if it's in the bag. But I'm trying to see if underneath there as well are Rivoli, if they're turned the other way. But certainly a very interesting necklace. I'll work on that and we'll see what happens with it. Okay. I did also take some time to untangle a few things because there were a lot of tangles. This is pretty cool. It looks like glass. It's like art glass, maybe a little bit of acrylic. But look at the colors. Orange and yellow. A little bit of like a burnt orange color. It does have a silver tone lobster clasp. Tiny seed beads at the beginning. It's quite long. This might be dyed shell on there too. Wow, it looks very 70s. I don't know how old it is, but it looks 70s. So if you want to see a close-up of some of the beads, we've got swirly art glass here, a mustardy color. Look at that one, so clear. And that orange one, look at the striped glass. That's very cool. Wow. All right, let's see if they test as glass. They do feel cold, and yes, they test as glass. Is this one? This one might be acrylic. So these layered ones are acrylic. This one's acrylic. But this one's glass. So some are acrylic, some are glass. Very, very long. Wrap it a few times. Very cool piece. Lots of color, and I'll say six dollars on that. I think that's nice. Very, very groovy. Oops, sorry. Okay, there's such a pile here. Really big pile. I tried not to get my arms in the way. So I did do some untangling. Let me just show you what I got out from untangling. So I got out this very beautiful necklace, but it's disconnected right here. I don't see anything else missing from it. Beautiful greens, tassels, and even the chain is in great shape, a Rolo chain. But I am gonna put this aside and maybe lot it up so someone can fix that. Just one little ring and it's fixed. And I also found, as I was untangling, this statement necklace, it's a cream color with some white stones in the middle, Rolo chain again, gold tone, but I'm going to lot it up with that one. And I did decide to put it with this one. And let's see what else we might lot up with that. Or maybe put them aside for a minute and see what else we've got in here. This is looking kind of Kendra Scott. I don't know. I've gotten to know a little bit about her pieces, but not really excellent at knowing the logo. It's a little tangled again. Hmm. Okay, we got it. All right, now I don't see any tags at all, but it's lovely. It has a rhinestone in the middle right here. I don't think it's super high quality, but it's in great condition. It hasn't been worn. Let's look at the back. So these are enamel as well in the gold tone color. So that's pretty cool. It's a long piece, turquoise blue, rhinestone in the middle, and we'll say $3 on that one. Okay, this one has a lot of beads on it. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. I think these are collectible. I think these are called 
um, oh, what is it called when they're set in like that? I, oh, it just left my brain, but I can't think of it right now. It's very pretty. I can see pink colors and yellow colors. All right, let's get the neck. Ooh, it does have an older clasp on it too. Okay, this might help to show you the stones. Oh, they're so beautiful. It's like a purpley color, a green. a smoky amber color. It's too long to do this way. I'm going to have to just show you the necklace. Okay, so we do have an older clasp and it's marked. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'll show you guys first. Oh, there's a lot of names there. And refocus. There we go. And wow. Wow. It's a Givenchy. It is Paris, New York. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, so these are worth something. Definitely worth something. That's going to be one I have to put aside and go check the prices. But look at that. Now, is this supposed to be intentional? This Is this one missing or is it just the design? Oh, I hope it's not missing something. So we've got these two here. These two. Oh no. Maybe it's in the bag. Let's hope it's in the bag. You gotta send me some hope that it's in the bag. Oh wow. You know, it'd probably sell with the one piece missing too. Okay, that's gonna go in my look into more pile. Another statement piece. Lots of crystals on this. This is brass tone with a heavy chain. Now I thought these were always going to be newer necklaces, but I found out recently that these chunky chains have been around for a long time. Because for those of you that don't know my channel or know me, I'm not very new at jewelry. I only started a couple years ago, but I do study as hard as I can and try to know as much as I can. And then one day I decided to unbox on camera, thinking no one would watch it. And you're watching and it's got done very well. So I'm very excited. This has been a big surprise in my life and a very happy one. So this is quite substantial. Lots of rhinestones, it's layered. It's um, probably foil back the way it looks in the back. Chunky chain with a brass color. Let me give a quick measurement and we'll give a price. My little neck thing has hooks on it. It snags on there sometimes. Okay, my other tool. You need a lot of tools when you make videos. You need tape measures, all kinds of things to test stuff with because people want to know right then if they fall in love with a piece. 16 inches, they fall in love with it, they're going to want it right then, and a three inch extender. No um, maker's mark, but we'll say $8 on that beautiful piece. Okay, my son is in the next room with a friend over, so they're having a good time. Wow, this is really something really something. This looks older as well. It's a lot of beads. Now let's see, because lately I've been saying they're acrylic before I test them. Yes, they are acrylic. I'm just going to lay it on the table and maybe that will be good without getting that necklace thing out every time. That's a beautiful fringe necklace. Really is a pretty turquoise color with a teeny bit of green tint to it. The only issue with this is the chain is a little worn. Well, it's very worn right here. The gold plating is worn off on this side more than this side. It does look like it's copper underneath. 
So I might put this with our pile of necklaces. Yes, let's do that. And we'll price them all up and put them in a bag. So you have to stay tuned so you can see what the price is of that whole bag of necklaces. All right, if I can unwind this guy, probably be easier to just unwind it. This is unusually beautiful. Actually looks a lot like the beads on that necklace we just looked at. It's acrylic with this type of shape bead to it. Look at all those colors. Pretty cool looking. And I would say, let's do $4 on that. Beautiful colors. It would look good with this. With this necklace, right? Look at that. It would even look good with that one. And with the other orange beaded necklace that we had before. We might have to make some matchy bags. Who knows? Keep changing things up. Okay, this is really stuck. So I don't know about this one. Wow. Okay. Let's see what I'm having to do. Long tassel. Let's just hang out together a minute. And if you want to fast forward, you can. <gasps> Look at the the length of this. I thought it was a tassel, but I think it's part of a necklace. Wow, there are some pretty pieces in here. They're very different. They look older. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty. So tangly. Well, let me take this moment to remind you again that I am going to pre-record these videos and I will post a couple of them this week, but I am going to be busy. So please do email me for the pieces that you want, but don't get nervous if I don't answer you right away because I do answer my emails in the order that they come. You can trust me on that. And I might not answer right away. So just take, take a note that I'll be busy this week and not to worry, okay? I might just be able to answer everything and not have an issue at all, but just in case I wanted to let you know that. Today is June 11, 2023. I'll post this in a couple days. I'll post another one in a couple days. So just make a note of that. Thank you so much. This looks like it's just caught on this one right at that ring. Yes, it is. And I hope I'm not out of focus. Okay, this is quite the necklace, but it's very worn. Has a lot of chains to it. And it's sort of braided. But I think that's going to have to go in a craft jar. So it's too big to go in our little craft jars. Let me put it aside and decide what we're doing. It's a busy day here in my house, so I had to go again, but I thought I'd take a minute and share with you how to purchase the jewelry. Some of you have asked me to do this throughout the video. If you would please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the video name, episode number, time stamps, brief description, and the prices. Then I can find the jewelry that you're asking me about very quickly that way and get right back to you. So thank you very, very much for that. Appreciate it. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Here, I'll do the digital. Please subscribe and ching, ching, ring the bell. I love it when they have those edited videos where the bell all of a sudden shows up and goes bing. It's pretty cute. All right, as you can see, we have a little bit of a casualty on this gorgeous necklace. Stone missing here and one missing here. But I did find one earlier. This one too small? Yeah. So this is going to have to be put aside because it's beautiful. It's on a chunky chain, doubled at the top. I do want to see if the stones are in the bag. So that one's going to go to the side for a little minute. Let's take a look at this beautiful baby. I love the colors. It's a very, very pretty orange. Okay, so I'm supposing it curls a little bit. 
This does call for our neck. Wow, these are, necklaces are in really good condition, at least. I'm talking about the metal part of them. Some of the stones may have fallen off from this bag, but the metal is beautiful. This is so pretty. This is really, really pretty. Chunky chain. There's five rhinestones in the center of each flower. Isn't that great? It is acrylic. Let's take a look at the back. The gold tone is beautiful. I love how it's attached like that. That's really different. It's not terribly old because it's on a lobster clasp, but wow, that is a looker. That's gorgeous. Okay, this is $22. I'm just feeling 22 is a great price for that. I can see it on eBay for more, but I don't wanna charge more. I wanna give you guys a great opportunity. It's definitely saying 22 on this necklace, and I feel great about that. Look at all the oranges. So here's my bracelet again that might match. Super nice. All right, we saw this a little bit earlier. Hmm. Let's see if this is real. I don't know. Let me have a closer look. does have rhinestones all around, so like a halo, but I don't know if that's a real stone there. So you know who we're going to have to ask, Miss Prissy. It does feel like it's acrylic, like it's a costume made to look expensive. It does move a little bit, so I would say it's glass, because when it's acrylic, it really doesn't move at all. These little things aren't going to be much, but I'll try. Okay, it's probably hitting the metal. Well, sometimes when it goes up like that, it's because it's close to the metal. Oh, well, that's interesting that the little stones tested better than I thought. Oh, if it's going to beep. Okay. We're going to have to do some serious business here. Get my loop. Look very close so I can figure out where the stone is. So hard to see. Okay, so I can't explain why these are going higher than glass. And it's not because they're closer to metal. The middle part is glass and these are maybe cubic zirconia. Even though they're going a little higher than cubic zirconia. Oh, we have a tag. We can look at that. Maybe it's an Avon piece. A little um, pointy tag like that is sometimes Avon. It is Avon. All right, Sherry, you're getting better all the time. All right, that explains it. It is an Avon piece. And it's very pretty. Again, the metal part of it's in great condition. And I would say it's a faux ruby. And... It has cubic zirconias around it and a halo. That's my guess. I'm sticking with it. What do you think? Do you think that's what it would be? A faux ruby? It's not really purple where I would say it's a faux um, amethyst. It's 16 inches. Nice, very delicate chain. The extender is 3 inches. And it's a cute little stone at the end. So that's our Avon necklace. I'd say faux ruby, you tell me what you think. And there's lots of stones in there. And I'll say $12 for the Avon piece. That was very different. Okay, what are you? This seems to be a charm bracelet. It's had seen better days. It does have some hammered silver tone. Yeah, I think we're going to have to start our craft jar. And let's see, what names have I used and what names do we need to go with? I actually have a list next to me now on some names we've already used, so I don't rename them. Okay, we have used Diane. Check that off. I'm going to use Andrea. 
we're going to use the name Andrea for this craft jar. Let's see, I always try to make a happy face somewhere on here, but I didn't make the E big enough. All right. Andrea, sorry. Now I can make my little happy face. Okay, Andrea craft jar. So for those of you that are new with me through our unboxing, if we see items that could go in a craft jar, we fill up a cup, we give it a name, and then we sell them at the end. So that's fun to get one of those started. And speaking of that, I would like to make our first bag of big necklaces. So if you need to rewind a little to see what these are, you're welcome to do that. And we're gonna put these necklaces in this first bag. And what am I gonna call this one? We will call this one John. So this is a big necklace bag. They are wearable. No, wait a minute, they're not. This one is broken. So why don't we do sort of a slash craft jar. Craft or wearable, how about that? You can make up your own minds. We'll put that one in there. This one didn't have anything wrong. This one didn't have anything wrong. And this one didn't, it just had a little bit of wear. And there's also this necklace, silver tone. Looks like a Chico's, doesn't it? Doesn't have a hang tag, has some fabric. Um, Harlequin, I think you call that. Nothing wrong with it, but I'm gonna put that in there too, just so we can get done with some of these nice and quickly. And when I was untangling, I found this piece too. Oh, that is a Chico's, right? Yes, this is a Chico's. Really cool how the chain is different. Lots of chains there. Some of them hang longer than others. That's gonna go in our big necklace bag. And we also have, what else did I get out of Untangle? This one's very pretty. Lots of seed beads, beautiful green color and gold. Very nice. A little bit worn on the clasp, but it's um, copper underneath, but not bad at all. No wear on these. Beautiful green beads, and that's going to go in our big necklace bag. Okay, so that's our first one. Necklace bag, John. And we'll do the whole bag for $12. Okay. So I hope that's a lot of fun for you. It's fun for me to put those things together. All right, we have a stretchy bracelet, purple colors. Probably is some sort of stone. And let me find out, because even if I put it in the craft jar, you're gonna wanna know that. These go up a little bit. They might even be moonstone, I don't know. So it's purple, it doesn't stretch. They kind of look like moonstones. They do have a blue hue to them. So that's a nice catch for someone who wants to have a craft jar. I'm gonna put that in our Andrea. Okay, oh, I see another piece of jewelry with coins on it, which is very cool. I know that the coin jewelry sells really well. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. So I'm not sure what it says on there. I'd have to look in my loopy loop, but I hope you can. Wooden bead here, tassely thing on the end. And the chain is a bit worn. Looks like it needs cleaned right there. Okay, it has a name but it has a little bit of dirty, so I'm gonna to have to clean that. All right, if it's something that you guys love and you're interested in, I will clean it up first. So let me put that aside and put something else in view because we're having a struggle with the camera. Okay, 
Wow, this is a pretty piece. Very pretty wood. Lots of colorful seed beads. I don't know if it's meant to be braided together or if you can just, yeah, you can untwist it. Oh, wow, I bet that looks great on. Come on, camera. I don't want my people to get mad at the focus. So it seems like it would be pretty easy to fasten. You just hook this into there and you already have that stacked look. That's a really pretty piece. It's stretchy. I think I have that wrong. Probably goes this way. Yeah, you guys know what you're doing. So I'm going to say $6 on that bracelet. I can't believe how many of those pieces of jewelry would go lovely together. Okay, next up, looks like we have some, ooh, a coin pearl, some mother pearl, glass faceted bead, pretty necklace. These feel like acrylic. Let's see what the clasp is like. Ooh, it's a big lobster claw, and it's a Chico's. It's a beautiful piece. The Rolo chain is in really, really, really good shape. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, my stomach just growled. I hope you guys didn't hear this roar. big growl from my stomach. Yeah, so that shell and everything. I love how they use real materials in their pieces. This is a very long necklace. Super long. I'll measure it. Just so you know how long, because it is a long one. Wow, I can't get over how good the metal condition good the metal. I can't get over how good of a condition the metal is in. It is 36 inches long with I have to tap my phone, get it in focus again. Four inch extension. Can't get over the condition of the metal. It's beautiful. Definitely a nice collector's piece. I'll say $8 on the Chico's and these are glass. They are glass. Okay. All right. That's that one. See, it's not easy to move fast in the videos. As hard as I try, I don't want to forget something of importance that you guys need to know. So I'm trying to scoot along, but I don't want to not give you enough information either important to me to give you all the information. Very bright orange, faceted glass bead, little flower, long gold chain, another flower, stationed. Hmm, very delicate. It's like a Figaro chain and it has a long extension. Well, this looks very 80s, I think. There's different times when the necklaces were long. People wore them long, then they wore them shorter, and then there was all the statement necklaces. And I think the long necklaces are coming back in. You can let me know what you think in the comments, because I'm not Miss Fashionista, so I don't really know. But I have a couple of long necklaces. My Roy Rogers one that I wear and I really enjoy the long necklaces. I didn't think I would, but I do like it. So it feels really nice to wear a long necklace sometimes and with a certain blouse. So that's new to me and I'm enjoying it. 28 inches with a four inch extension. Again, great metal condition, orange glass, and I'll say $5 on that. Beautiful colors. This one I had to untangle, and I sure did have to stop the camera for that because look at all these chains. It feels amazing. Isn't that beautiful? It has milky turquoise color stones in here, and they do feel cold. Let's see what they are. They are glass. I wonder what the age of this one is. Do you have any idea? Please share with me. Share with all of us because it's great to see the comments and to have the information shared for all of us. 
Wow, look at that fringy fringe. That's nice. It's got blue stones, orange, bright red and green. The color of the chain is like khaki. That's it. It's a khaki color. Exactly what it is. So that's that one. And this has some fabric wrapped around for the chain. Has a lot of glittery gold. And look how nice the chain condition is on this one too. That's so fun. Okay, I'm gonna say it's probably 18 inches. Let's see if I'm getting better at that. And then there'll be a little bit of an extension. Also not easy to measure when it's, yeah, I'm gonna say 18 because if it were squeezed together, it would be 18 inches. And then the extension is, I'd say three inches. So how about that for a fringe? That's a nice piece. These are prong set. And I'll say, see half of the time that I'm hesitating is I'm thinking, what am I gonna ask for this? I'll say 12, $12, that's a lot of fringy. That's the back. And it took me enough time to get it untangled that I think I earned the $12. So hope you don't mind that and I hope you love it. I really hope you love it. Love to find things that you guys love and that we all enjoy looking at together. This feels really nice quality. Beautiful turquoise, collar stones, and then some deeper, like teal color. It looks sterling, but I don't know. It might be plated. So let me give you something to focus on whilst I take a look with the loop. So you can focus on that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. It's a very nice quality metal. Not seeing any silver marks at all. Let me have a look at the little gems here. Ooh, they're nice and high set and they are definitely prong set with foil back. Let's take a look at it with our magnet. Doesn't magnet at all. Wow. Well, I don't know what to do because if it's sterling, it should be marked. And it doesn't look worn at all, so I don't think the mark would be worn off. But it could be that I'm just not seeing the mark. So let me get our testing stone and see what it says. I like to use my small one, but I don't know where it is. Okay, we'll have to move that pretty baby back over again. I can probably tell right away if it's going to be sterling. I'm going to say maybe not. But like I say, before I act like I know something, let me see. What other part should I test? Maybe get in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Hmm, okay, I wanna be so careful. I hate to do this to jewelry, but sometimes we have to know, right? All right. Not seeing anything underneath the silver tone, but it does look very silver, doesn't it? Okay, let's get out our crazy scrambled egg. Someone told me this is a scrambled egg microwave dish, but I love it because it holds my chemicals in there. Okay, let's see what we got. My guess is not, but you never know until you test. Hmm. Might have to test it again because sometimes when it's a little bit older and there's patina on the top, you can't really tell. It is blue. It's definitely blue under there. So let me try again on this area. Very interesting necklace. 
I like the color of those stones. Hmm. Probably not. I don't know. Would the extension be a different metal than the others? All right, let me try the, the clasp again as well so we don't go round in circles. It's definitely not copper or brass under that clasp. That was the extension chain. So what I'm seeing is really blue color. I don't know how to call this one, guys. I mean, look how blue this is over here. And the lights are freaking out. Okay. It's really blue over here and here. I think I'm just going to stop the camera and just take a minute to finish the testing and see what happens. Okay, so what I'm finding is that it is very heavy sterling plated because I do see some copper underneath when I tested the side of the chain here, and I don't like to do too much testing. So this is very well silver plated necklace with some very pretty stones in it. Don't know who the maker is. I wish there was a tag on it because the plating is super nice. Very well done. The clasp looks beautiful. 16 inches, it is what they call a Y drop and it has about a two inch extender. So gorgeous, heavily plated necklace. And I'll say $12 on that pretty baby. Okay, trying to move quickly here. What have we got in here? Wow, okay, what are you? What are you, huh? Maybe something that has to be put back together. We'll find out. Chain is in good condition. Oh no, it's okay. Is it? All right, let's see. This is really weird. I don't know what to make of this. I mean, it can't hang like that. Oh, I see. Okay, I hope you can see too. It looks like these pieces on the side here are maybe supposed to hook here because there's a little ring there. Or just when I think I know what I'm talking about. All right, if they clip together, does that make sense? Oh boy, I'm really messing up this video. All right, if they clip together, Wow. All right, I think that's it. They probably clipped together right there and it has sort of a double. I don't know, does that make sense to you guys? What the world? Okay, that's a little bit. I think I'm gonna put it aside because I don't wanna take a lot of time and I have no idea what to do with this. You guys are gonna have to help me. Tell me what you think in the comments. Have you ever seen a necklace go across this way? Because I could hook it back together. Acrylic, summer glass. It is pretty, but I don't know what to do with it right now. So put it aside and you tell me what you think of that. Don't, don't know. Lots and lots of really heavy rhinestone necklaces in here. Like, here's another one, and I think this one's signed, or it's connected to something that's signed. I also see a locket, and I have to keep looking back and focusing my camera, too. All right, we're going to have to take a minute to untangle, because, oh gosh. Wow. Yeah, it would take a lot to show you what I'm looking at right here. Oh boy, there's like a necklace on strings and the strings are... Okay, let's stop for a minute. Oh, that looks so beautiful. I want to see what it is. Oh, we can. We can see what this is because I can untangle it here. I mean, unclasp it. <gasps> Yay! All right. This is gorgeous. 
This is gorgeous. Oh, is it missing? No. No, no, those are there. They're Rivoli, I think, when they're turned upside down. Okay, let's see the name. Stella and Dot, maybe? It looks very Stella and Dot to me. It is a Stella and Dot. This is an amazing piece. Really beautiful. So sparkly. I have some earrings that would match that. They're just little earrings exactly that, that shape. So I could throw them in with this necklace. All right, I, I think the past two times I did a giveaway, I did a Stella and Dot. Maybe we'll do this as a giveaway too. What do you think? It's beautiful. Let's get our neck and see how it looks on there. I think I'll do this as a giveaway. The metal is in great condition. Kind of a smaller neck so I have to pull it up a little bit but wow I like the nice V shape to it like I said I'll put the earrings with it and it's sparkling like crazy under these lights okay I'm get a measurement and we have a giveaway I never plan the giveaways they just kind of happen at that moment Maybe the Stella and Dot reminds me of my first giveaway, which wasn't that long ago. I've only been doing this for two months. But anyway, it is, it's more than 16 inches, probably 18 inches. And then the extender is two inches. All right. Yes, we're going to do a giveaway. So all you have to do for the giveaway is to make sure you're subscribed, that you leave a comment in the comment section. And what's the third thing? Oh, and you have to leave a like on the video. And with all three of those things, I'll do, um, YouTube has an app I can use where everyone who does those three things will automatically be entered in this automatic random picker, winner picker. And that's what I use. And that will pick the winner. So, yay, that's the giveaway necklace. All right, I'll put that aside. And I'll find the earrings to put with that, but what a pretty, pretty piece. All right, I may have to sign off soon. And there's a ton of untangling to do, so. Oh, this is that piece that we were looking at with the coin on it, but it's actually not on anything else. Very different. Don't know what this is. These little beads, big tassel. I'm going to put that aside with that other one that's not put together. Maybe we'll lot them up again. But look at that pretty baby. Stretch bracelet. Just cute purple color. The stretch is great. Iridescent glow on it. And I'll say three on that purple bracelet. See if I can get this other purple piece out as well. Whoa, this is really bright. Okay, now I know what these are because I had one in one of my other videos and you guys all helped to know what it is. And it is one of those bracelets that wraps around. Now, Deborah, I know you're going to tell me in the comments because you're so wonderful what this stone is. Hematite? Anyway, isn't that cool? You just wrap it around, it sticks together. It's got some blue and pink shades of beads here, fuchsia, the hematite, or Deborah's going to tell me what it is because she, she's so sweet and she'll pop in the comments and say, that is a such and such stone, so thank you for that. Anyway, we've got this bracelet, we'll do that for $3. Okay, a few more things. And we'll see what's up. Okay, we saw this when I opened the bag. Wow. This is really amazing. It's see-through, but it has just a little brush, light brush of like a copper color. <gasps> That's gorgeous. That is really gorgeous. What a stunning bracelet. I know some people, when they're making videos, they put the bracelets on. I don't like to do that, but on this one, I'm going to do it because I think it would look so cool on. It does look cool on. 
Okay, let me measure it for you with my new bracelet measurer. I don't want to get one of those big metal ones because I don't want more stuff hanging around. Okay, how do I measure this bracelet? Oh no, I can't measure that. First of all, it's like square. Okay, we'll just measure it this way. Ooh, we're having fun. Two and a half inches, okay? I hope that helps. This is fascinating. Clear Lucite. I'm gonna say 18 and we'll see what you guys think. If you really love it and you think it's super cool, you won't mind that, and it's gonna help me pay for all this jewelry and all the other work that I do. But if it's too much, you let me know too, because I don't wanna overcharge on something I don't know. We have a dyed shell bracelet. Stretch is really good. Bright pink colors. Probably acrylic bead there, but the rest of it is shell. Beautiful bright pink. We'll do $6 on the shell. I'd love to get this out because it's super groovy. It's just telling me it's groovy. It looks like a groovy, groovy thing. But I don't know if I can because it's quite tangly. Hmm. I bet you I'm going to make a whole entire untangle with me video because I have done that before. When I have things that are terribly tangled, I make a whole nother video out of it. People enjoy it. I get to untangle the stuff and talk some more while I'm doing it and nobody can argue with me because well you can argue with me on the other side but I can't hear you <laughs> oh we have a locket we've rarely got any lockets in these anybody home oh, I should have put a little face in there that would have been fun does seem to be signed is that a signature or is it just saying best friends? Do not know. Well, anyway, it's a silver tone locket, purple, sparkly. Don't see any other marks except BFF. And I'll say $4 on that. Maybe that is the maker. And does that mean we untangled this? Yes, it does. Okay, so this is a nice long necklace, and the silver tone is in really good, never worn condition. Just going to clasp it on the end so it doesn't keep tangling on us. Nice long necklace, so groovy, totally groovy. Looks like a ring goes on one side and on the other. I guess you could flip it all the way through this way and have two rings on one side. Yeah, that looks better. That's how it goes. It's got a cute little bail, but why is it doing that right there? I just want to make sure it's okay. I think it just needs some fiddling, like you flip it back around. This is the back side, so you probably flip it back around this way, the chain through, and that's it. So it is acrylic. It is just cool looking pink and blue and it's got the rings on it too so very long look how shiny that chain is it's really really brand new and really really long so so long it is 40 inches 40 inch chain with another couple inch extension. Totally groovy piece, we'll do for $10. Great, great looking chain. That pile is getting big, okay. All right, I think that is gonna be it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these two pieces yet. I have to stay tuned and see. We'll maybe make another big bag with these. But I am going to work on my thumbnail and I will have a busy week. So let me just, yeah, let me take a minute again to remind those who maybe just tuned in. If you like some of the pieces you see, this is how you would purchase. Please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. 
Some people screenshot this too, and they have it for their instructions. With the video name, the timestamps, brief description of your pieces, and the prices. And then I'll be able to find those pieces and tell you if they're sold or not in a jiffy. So thank you very much. I will go work on my thumbnail. Recycle. And, and someone walked up right when I was saying that. So I just turned the tape off for a minute. But I didn't mean to leave you. Now I'm going to work on my thumbnail. I'm going to try to make something really beautiful for you to look at on the screen. And then we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. But don't forget, I'll be busy this week. So if you email me and I don't get right back to you, don't worry. I do answer the emails in the order that I get them. So no worries, okay? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you were here. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Today I have some help signing off. I have my wonderful neighbor, Akram, my terrific grandson, Chance. And you ready, guys? Three, two, one. See you at the Bobbles.